Stampers Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I want to share uh, just a quick tip I got somewhere along the way. And um, I wanted to show you, this looks like a really fun technique. It's just a fun little thing that you can add to your cards. I have my Blossom Punch. looks like this. I love the Blossom Punch. It goes with the Mixed Bunch set. It, it, there are a couple sets that this actually goes with. I'm going to cut out... Um, one Blossom Punch in the Very Vanilla, and then I'm going to cut out, with my Modern Label Punch, I'm going to cut out through three of these. So one, two, and then turn this around, cut out a third one. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer these together. So I'm going to take one of these because this kind of fits here. They're kind of shaped the same on the edge. So I'm going to just turn this over and I'm going to layer the bottom one. And make this one go like this. I'm going to do the same thing with this other one. And then I'm going to make a center using one of my bottle caps. This leftover piece of very vanilla, and I'm going to stamp a little flower on it. The paper that I picked out to, to um, make with the um, flower is from the Print Poetry Pack. And this is Gumball Green, and it says Raspberry Ripple or Primrose Petal. I'm going to use Primrose Petal. And I'm going to stamp one of my flower images from my favorite Lacey and Lovely set. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp this in. And I'm picking this because I want to put it inside a bottle cap to put in the center. And you'll notice that I've already sent the bottle cap through my Big Shot. So I get that little flattened look. I really like this. I feel like it looks like a piece of jewelry. Now I'm going to take my one inch circle punch. <clears throat> I have my one inch circle punch here. That's the size you need to fit inside the bottle cap. Oh, this is going to be perfect. This is from the Lacy and Lovely set in Primrose Petal, and that's quite pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put that down with some Tombow glue. And I'm not going to put too much in because I don't want it to squish around the outside, but I do want it to stick. So I'm going to put that in the center. Okay, and then I have some dahlias, some of those um, great little dahlias from the, that are in colors. And since it, these are in colors, I think I will choose... Do I want yellow? Or do I want blue? I want blue. Ah, I definitely want the blue. And I'm going to attach that with a glue dot. Okay, so here's my final card, just to give you an idea of what you can do with this. Um, this is a four and a quarter by four and a quarter square card. I've used Primrose Petal and I've used um, Gumball Green and I have also used paper from the Print Poetry Pack which is what I did originally with the Modern Label Punch. And you can see I also cut a piece of Primrose Petal out with the Blossom Punch, and I just turned it a little bit and popped the one decorated with the Modern Label up on um, dimensionals to give it some dimension. This is the um, Dotted Scallop Edge Punch there. This is um, Midnight Muse Ribbon. And the Inspire sentiment comes from the Loving Thoughts set. So, all in all, you can do a lot of really fun little things just with that little touch on top of your Blossom Punch. So have fun with that. Thanks for watching. Stop on my blog at stampingimperfection.com for more ideas. Sign up for my mailing list and get three video tutorials exclusive for my mailing list subscribers. Thanks for watching.